How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back to get another review. And it, it is uh, some kind of beer time? Ale time. I assume it's some kind of ale time. This is based off of ABV and look, but I could be freaking wrong. No idea what kind of beer it is. All they know, it is Two Dragons by Empire Brewing. Um, never had this before. Had a couple okay. offerings from this brewery um, when they were at Belgium Comes to Cooperstown. And um, kind of dug it. Um, dug what was having and. Uh, was lucky enough to kind of hook up with them um, over uh, the internet, and they sent me off a couple bottles, and here we are. We're going to review it and see what we have. Um, yeah. Well, let's see what it says on the bottle. Um, Empire Brewing Company. Brewed in New York, Two Dragons. It says this black tea beer starts off with a fruity aroma. The flavors are then, or flavors are, are then a blend of subtle malt with a full earthy tea flavor and a dry finish. 6% alcohol by volume, sample only, not for resale. So, yeah, they're not even really putting stuff out there yet. I guess they're just kind of bottling for um, sampling use only. So, yeah, super excited to give it a whirl. Um, as far as the label goes, love it. Love everything about it. Um, just, I don't know, something about it. I dig it. Nice glossy texture to it. Artwork's cool. Basic, but at the same time, done really well. Ghetto cap, always going to love that. And yeah, and it's brewed, I mean, it says here, a black tea beer, so it's brewed with tea. I am a recovering tea junkie. I, I used to uh, drink way too much black tea, uh, hot black tea. Uh, my mom was from Europe, well, England, Scotland specifically, um, and uh, yeah, drank way too much of that stuff, so hopefully this isn't getting me back on the uh, back on the horse. Ooh, nice color to it. I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter than that, again, to be perfectly honest with you. It's based off the bottle. I mean, brown bottle, can't really tell. So, um, yeah, two fingers, um, just off weight head, insanely creepy uniform bubbles throughout, nice creepy top to it, and nice, you know, lager-esque, you know, kind of hue to it. Really beautiful, almost snow-like carbonation coming through there. I'm not sure if you can get that on camera, but it's just cascading up pretty slower than what it typically goes at, but in a pretty uniform almost music-like, melodic kind of style. It's like upside-down uh, snow. It's absolutely beautiful, actually. But yeah, she looks super fun and cool. That, that carbonation was creepily uh, melodic, I guess you'd say. Let's see what she has in the nose. I'm getting like a, like a combination of like a sweet malt with like a Pilsner malt. You are... I feel like I'm getting a bit of that tea coming through. Um, typically, what I used to drink when I was a tea person was your typical British tea, um, which is your black tea, which is actually a mixture of black tea and orange pico, so you, I feel like I'm getting a bit of that black tea in there. Yeah, I mean, she smells like a nice, crisp, clean lager. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting off of her, so. She looks super cool with that carbonation. I mean, it's I could stare at this for days. It's absolutely mesmerizing. Um, I, like I said, you probably can't see it on camera, but it looks super cool. Um, she looks cool. She smells all right. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. That's not too shabby. Um, very, um, very subdued, but there are some cool flavors in there. First thing you get, when you first get in your mouth, you're almost getting like a earthy, hot kind of bitterness up front. Um, then you kind of get in there, get a little bit touch of malt, and you get that little bit of like a, a peppery tea in there. It's very, very subtle. Almost like that kind of like tannic kind of um, tea. If you were to ever let like a tea bag kind of sit or suck on a tea bag, and more than, not the intense flavor of the tea, but a used tea bag, where you're getting that, like, earthy tannicness in there. And you get a little bit of that more and more biscuity malt now. Clean, super, uh, finished super clean. And that's pretty much it. Uh, very simple beer. What it does, it does well. Um, crisp and clean. Something I would actually want to drink a lot of. Even though it's a little bit higher in session. 6%. You know, you wish it was more towards 5 But really nice, clean, crisp beer. 
Um, something I wish I could get in six packs. Again, it was, like I said, it was sent to me. I wish you could get it in six packs at a relatively low price. Not to undercut pricing on a new brewery, but this is something you'd want like cases of or 12 packs of to drink more. Not that it's a quantity over quality thing, it's just that the quality is there to drink it in quantity. Um, but I do think that presence, I don't know if it's the tea or if there's some light dry hopping there. It could be just the tea that's giving you that kind of peppery tannicness. I know there's some of that pepper in there, but it's really, really cool. And it just adds an added dimension to the tea. It's almost like it was dry hopped, kind of like the, the tea, easy to say. Um, but yeah, I dig it. Um, right crisp and clean, to the point, and not too shabby. Rating-wise, I'm going to give it an 86. An 86 overall, real, like I said, this is, I could drink a thousand of these, and we'll die of alcohol poisoning, but I, realistically, I could drink a 12-pack of these. Be a little bit too drunk, but be uh, pretty damn, uh, not feel shitty about myself. Um, or more than I typically feel shitty about myself. Um, so I'm going to give it 86 overall. Value availability. Like I said, I'm going to skip over all that since it's not, I don't even think it's really to market and I can't get it. And just say, if you like what, will you like this? If you like, I'm still not sure what kind of style I call it. I'd probably lean lager. American style lager. Um, I'm trying to think if I just called something else. Somewhere between a lager and like an Oktoberfest kind of Marzen thing, but just jacked up a little bit. It's it's a unique, it's hard to pin down, let's put it that way, for me it is. Uh, but I go with lager. If you like your your lagers, but you want something a little bit more to it, a little bit more to it other than your atypical, just slight hot presence, you, that tea brings a nice earthiness to it and gives you a little bit of spice, almost kind of like a Belgian yeasty kind of spice, but you can tell it's not coming from the actual yeast, it's coming from some other form. Um, definitely be a cool beer to check out. And if you're, you know, upstate New York, I believe they're out of Syracuse, definitely worth picking up just to give it a whirl because, you know, one, clean beer, two, new brewery. So it was one support new. Hopefully they grow, produce, and start bottling a lot of cool stuff. So there you go. Uh, Empire Brewing's Two Dragons. Um, 86 overall and no uh, value and availability score since I don't get them. And, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or you didn't, somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below and like, subscribe, and all that fun, fun stuff. If you want to check us out anywhere else on the internet, you can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped, Massive Beers, and all four of those places. And, uh, yeah, another review down. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice, creative lager, I guess you'd say. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.